G'day, this is Adam Maxwell. I'm Joe Reardon. We're with Agriculture Victoria. And we're here to show you how to do a drone uncapping today. Drone uncapping to inspect for Varroa mite in your hives. First step in biosecurity though is to make sure that your hive tools that you're using are washed. There's no honey or wax left on them so you're not inadvertently moving bacterial spores from hive to hive. The second step after that is removing the second frame from the edge, making sure the queen's not there, and resting it on the lid of the, lid of the hive, out of the dirt, against the super, or even up against the edge of the um, single box. The next thing we're looking for then is drone cells. Shake the bees off the frame and have a look. There's worker cells there and there's larvae, put this brood laid through there. And there's a few drone cells through here. You can see the larger ones there, they're elongated, or if you want, almost like hexagonal, hexagonal looking. Um, what we want to do is be able to pull out a number of drones so we can inspect for Varroa. They have a, a preference to parasitize and breed on drone cells because the drones, the boys are the slowest to develop. I'll pass you that one. What we do to do that is we use a drone uncapper or a capping scratcher, standard thing. And like our hive tool, we want to make sure there's no honey or wax. So we make sure that they're clean, free of honey and wax. So we're not moving any other diseases from hive to hive. The next thing is, I'll give you that one there is, thank you, is then we put the uncapper in and we slowly tease out our drone pupae. If a roll was on that, they would stand out being copper red or brown colored. Um, that would stand out on that beautiful, beautiful white flesh. Again, easing it up slowly and you get a really good view all the way around in between doing a sugar shake, as we've done on this hive, drone uncapping or an alcohol wash, it gives us two points of sensitivity and it gives us an opportunity to see Varroa at, at a couple of different stages of its life cycle. This stage under the cap here is when they're breeding or when she's laid eggs. The other stage is when she's on the external part of the bees. Another important thing, we don't want to cause robbing or ants to start bombarding a hive, so we don't throw this stuff on the ground. Uh, some of the bush meat ants take a preference to it and it can cause a bit of an ant activity around. Also too, with biosecurity around American fowl brood. All goes in a bin. And then we wash those tools at the end of, the end of that session. And then we reassemble the hive the way it originally was with the frames in the same order and facing the same way. And if you see anything unusual when you're doing any of these tests, please call Agriculture Victoria or the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline.